Hello, good evening and welcome. My name is Ursa Ryan and I am not dead of COVID-19 and neither are you. These are two things to be proud of. We're playing a Norway game, but that's right, a Norway game with a difference. We're playing a 20-person TSL Europe map where we're effectively going to play as the Vikings. Now, you said Norway last time. It was a vote. This easily won and we've got to try and uh, reforge an empire. But before we get too into that, we need to do a little bit of admin. Now, unless you've been living in the corner of your local supermarket, stuffing your ears with the remaining loo roll that does exist in this free and bold society that we still live in, you will know that we voted last time for city names on this playthrough, and I've got a whole heap of city names I'm going to be naming this time round. It's going to be wonderful. I also asked you, and this, if you want to have a look, was on the first video of the previous series, which was, of course, Alexander's Walking Simulator. Uh, it seemed like a really funny name in my head at the time. I'm not entirely sure if it remained funny, but I, I just, it was funny enough for me. I quite liked it. But I asked you what you wanted me to play in the next playthrough. Now, there were four suggestions on that thread, but Jonathan Summers Harris, you easily won it easily won it by saying you seem to be excited about trying a German playthrough so I recommend that one five likes there you go you could have voted if you don't think the Germany playthrough was the right idea then, then you know democracy was not your friend you should have gone voted and been proud to vote so there we go we're gonna play a Germany playthrough next time and uh I think I have a bit of an idea of exactly what I want to do on that sort of game now as ever, I am not going to dictate what game you made me play after that Germany playthrough, so I'm going to put a comment on this video. On that comment, I will ask you all, what would you like me to play after the German playthrough? And it is up to you. I could suggest whatever I wanted. I could suggest we do an Eleanor of Aquitaine game. I could suggest we try a Europe map with Raging Barbarians on, or the Barbarian Breakout mod that we played with previously because that was hilarious. I could even suggest we don't do a Europe map and we do something different, but what I suggest has got nothing to do with it. And that's for two reasons really. Firstly, I want you guys to feel like you've got a good vote and you do have a good say about what goes on here. And secondly, well, I'm just going to ignore you and do something different if, I, uh, if something catches my fancy, as the last series sort of proved. I'll also put a second comment up on this video asking you what you want me to name my cities in the next playthrough. That is the German playthrough. It is a TSL 20 player map in Germany. Easy. You, some German pun, some pun on my name, some veiled sort of insult or tongue twister that I'm not going to be able to do. You know what? The cheek, right? Go and have a look at the second video on the domination guide not the deity domination guide but the original one i did with rome that series is still doing ridiculously well compared to everything i did but on the second video somebody said that actually i say actually a lot actually i mean i never say actually i swear i've never said actually in my life it's a i don't know what people are talking about but enough of the future and more of the here and now. I, uh, well, not only have I been stockpiling toilet roll underneath my kitchen sink, but I've also been studying Norway. Norway? No, here we go. <laughs> Five minutes over and I'm already mucking it up. I've been studying Norway. Not the Denmarks as in Civ 5, the Norwegians, and I've never played these guys. There's a lot I haven't played. I've, I've played a thousand hours of Civ 6 and there's still some Civs I haven't played. I'm very stuck in my ways, really. Norway seemed really cool, right? It allows coastal raiding for all naval melee units. Amazing. 50% production towards all naval melee units? Okay. That's fine, but naval melee units are by far the worst naval units. Like, I've, I've got a guide of war in this game where it goes nukes, followed by air force, followed by navy, followed by melee units, or sort of like a conventional army. I would go so far as to say that naval melee units typically are worse than all of that. Like, there's no point in having an ironclad, but because by the time you've got an ironclad, the enemy's got walls and that thing's just going to be ramming into it. And if you use an ironclad to, say, capture another, or like to kill a, a naval unit or, or go into naval battle, you might as well just use a frigate. So I'm intrigued to see whether this actually proves to be quite good. I get extra science and extra culture when my pillaging would normally give me gold or faith. I get the ability to enter ocean tiles really quickly, which is good because that means I'm going to go exploring and maybe settle a couple of islands. Uh, I'm going to get naval melee units healing in neutral territory. 
again. Yeah, we'll see if that's any good. Units ignore additional movement costs when embarking and disembarking. That could be quite useful. I'm sort of thinking settlers, a bit like um, Carthage can do that in this game, or the, the sort of Phoenicians. Phoenicians? Yeah, I'm going to say Phoenicians. It's like Venetians, isn't it? But th I don't know. Viking longships are quite cool. They're a bit stronger and they can do raiding and they're really fast. Berserkers are ridiculously fast and ridiculously powerful but can't defend to save their lives. And stave churches give me additional standard adjacency from woods. Okay, so keep the woods up is what we're saying. And additional coastal resource. I wasn't really going to go for a religious game, but that extra coastal resource? Yeah. That could be good. I mean, I don't know if I'm really going to have too many coastal... I mean, I guess these two are coastal resources. I've got a... I've got some stone. I've got the the rice. I don't think a wood counts as a resource, does it? If I... You know what? It might actually tell me. If I go resource like that. So you can see, actually, yeah, these five tiles all count as resources, but none of these. So it's a bit, I mean, I could possibly get another three production by having that. And you know what? Actually, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think we're going to just move our warrior just inland slightly. You can see already we have a couple of mountains. That is amazing on this European map because we just, like, there's no mountains on this Europe map. So hopefully our science is going to be pretty good. Now, we've got a couple of things we want to be getting pretty quickly. Sailing, of course, to get our Viking longship so we can go oh, pillaging. I want to be getting writing because we can get campuses. And I guess, do we want to see if we can go for a religion? Hmm, you know what? We've got a lot of mountains. We've got a lot of woods. I might just give that a go. I might just give that a go. You know what? I actually think, actually, now I thought about this, the Nile has the same problem. There is a river here, but you just can't see it, like, at all. If I go on the Settler tab... Uh, oh no, that's not going to be helpful at all. Come on, give me the give me the fresh water. I swear, is that not a fresh water thing? Just press all the buttons. No, I won't be able to see it. Um, okay. Okay, cool. There's so many things. Now, ugh, there's 20 people. There's 20 people and profit points. You know what? I might be able to get a great profit, but I've really got to beeline it. So let's go for astrology and let's see if we can just jump straight on it. I'm also going to get a couple of scouts because there's going to be a ton of tribal huts in all of the unoccupied space in Russia and we're going to go head over that way. Now, in terms of my style, I know I've got Sweden on this peninsula, but really, that's kind of it. They are, these are our threats. Sweden. Sweden is our threat. And, and being honest with you, Sweden shouldn't be that aggressive. Although this is deity AI. I should, oh, I should just sort of say what I'm using. These are all my mods I'm using. I'm just going to do a quick scroll down. You can pause at your content uh, as a, at, your, at your convenience and have a look. Deity difficulty. Online speed. Why do I play on online speed? Well, it's not my favourite. But quite frankly, it's the only thing I'm going to be able to play that I'm going to finish within the next sort of two years. I don't normally rush an immediate settler, but you know what? I'm going to do it. We're going to go for it. And I'm going to force myself to sort of produce a bit faster just so I get it. Immediately going for God King and Survey. Remember, we don't have Barbarians on in an effort to try and load this map. Although, as I say, I am tempted to do a playthrough with the Barbarian Breakout mod on because, again, it would be just hilarious, would it not? Oh, I really like that. And we're also going to go for Foreign Trade to go for Maritime Industries. I normally go the other direction, but this time it's worth it. There we go. It's Sweden. I want to find them, be friends with them, just so I can well, try and figure out what they're going to do. You see, look, they've already built another city inland, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, they've already got 125 melee strength. Now, again, I'm hoping Sweden are not the most aggressive, but they may well be. We can't take that for granted. Okay, we've got astrology. What are we going to do now? Go pottery and writing. I think, to be fair, we're not going to rush a, a, a great scientist because we've got other stuff that we're doing at the moment. So let's go for sailing. I think that's probably the best thing to do. I always sort of want to force Sweden into this, well, just, just away from me, just so I can block them off. Uh, what am I going to do? Should I put a settler down here? I feel like it would be forward settling them quite aggressively. Are we realistically going to be friends with Sweden? No, I don't think so. We just got to make sure we don't sort of get swamped by them, which we shouldn't do. We shouldn't do. No suitable location to build this district. I strongly disagree with that. I think we've got a great district to build it here with a plus three. Although actually that would be another... Um, 
Mm, I think this is a good place. Let's go here. Already got one of a three faithful high. I mean, look at that. Lovely. Now, does anyone else have any great profit points? Yes. A couple of people have already started to produce them. So we're just going to... Should we just dive in immediately on Holy Site Prayers? I don't normally push it this quickly, but we really want to get that religion. Really, really want to get that religion going. Oh my God, look how many people have got Holy Sites. Oh... That's a crazy, crazy amount of holy sites. We've got to be careful here. Maybe loyalty-wise, this uh, this wasn't the most sensible place to go. Hmm, I'm just switching to mining so I can build a holy site in a little bit of a better place. Uh, no, you want sod it. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. Rebellion in 45 turns. Yeah, that's not so great, but... But, 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 but. It should be fine. And we're going to just start to... Stack all our sites up here. Yeah, I think this is a good thing to do. All right, let's see what's in the tribal village. Oh, oh, damn it. Oh, if I'd known that was that. Oh, man, I could have got the religion way earlier. What an idiot. What an idiot. Okay, Sweden don't like me. And uh, war. Well, it's imminent, isn't it? Um, <laughs> let's, uh, let's quickly get that really get a religion going as quick as we can and build a couple of Viking longships because I've just seen a city on the coast. How is somebody getting six points per turn already towards a religion? That's just mad. Oh my god. Oh, anyway, we're on 27 points. Which means someone's going to nip in ahead and grab it unless we do something drastic. Now typically all the ones I wanted are gone. Dance of the Aurora is gone, which would be giving us some amazing adjacencies because we've got loads of Tundra. Uh, the Settler bonus is gone. The bonus to Great Writer and Great uh, Profit Points, all those are gone. Oh, damn it, people are quick on this in such a big game. Never mind. Uh, I think, should we get camps? I think we're going to get a lot of camps here because we've got foxes, obviously deer everywhere because it's uh, tundra and, and in the north. I mean, possibly... Is that the best thing to do? I think it might be, you know, because we can't even get a builder going. So, yeah, uh, but I promise I just don't have a, I don't have a builder yet anyway. Uh, oh, 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 dear, 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 oh, dear. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think it's going to have to be camps, isn't it? It's going to have to be camps. I'm going to immediately switch to urban planning and maritime industries because I'm just going to make a load of boats. Now, as soon as I've got my religion, oh, I really hope nobody's got this religion just yet. Somebody's going to get it. Eight points! Eight points per turn. How are they doing that? That is mad. Absolutely mad. Oh, damn it. This city's on a lake. It's not on a... <laughs> it's not on the coast at all. My longships will be useless against it, but I'm still going to send them anyway. Somebody got Catholicism beforehand, but that doesn't matter because we've got a religion. Oh, goodness me, this is wonderful. Right, let's get that religion down and quick, and let's build our first Viking longship because, my goodness, we need we need some military brawn. With only three turns of being able to afford a builder outright, we're going to do that. That's a good, a good thing to do. I need to find where Stockholm is. Let's see what's in this tribal hut. It's a goodie. Oh, and you pop. That is actually useful. Oh, nice. You know what? I'm actually going to get a golden era, and that's amazing. I've got my own first seafaring boat. I've got a Viking longship. Oh, all of these things are just so wonderful. Where's my berserker? Is that the swordsman? No, it's not. Where's the berserker? Uh, military tactics here. It's a melee class 40 strength with iron. Okay. It's with iron. We've got to keep an eye on that. Um, I think I might treat myself to masonry there to get some walls in the city that's adjacent to the enemy because, my God, that thing will die quickly if the deity get hold of that. Um, in the meantime, Viking longship, on you go. God, that's quick. In return, it took me to walk my religion and I'm a great prophet over. Sikhism has already started to spring into existence. So we've got a bit of naming to do now. So first of all, I'm going to call my religion The Way. The way. It's a wiggly, wiggly line. It's going to be full of such glorious things as, uh, well, we're going to get a lot of faith, aren't we? Do we want to be using that to buy troops? I think we probably do want to be using it to buy troops. So let's, should we go feed the world? We want to encourage ourselves to do that. Do we, yeah. 
you know what let's feed the world that's wonderful and um why don't we treat ourselves to a bit of crusade i think we haven't done crusade in some time first of all we've got no way then we've got yes way you see where this is going this is going to be a very long playthrough if you don't like this joke <laughs> God, in this day and age, every time I get a catch in my throat, I just think, oh my God, I've got coronavirus, I'm going to die. No, you haven't. You've got a slight catch in your throat. Oh my God. Oh, it's the nerves that get you. That's what it is. I've already rushed ship building. That's quite a good one. <laughs> Shit building. I always think, I always get it wrong. That's what I think it is. It's clearly not. Forcing myself to build the shrines now because I never build the shrines. Shrines are just overlooked and underused in every game that I play. Let's use to get the gold to get the builder because these camps are going to be glorious. My Viking longships are just sailing their way suspiciously round in this direction. Oh, hello. Naval combat units that enter adjacent plots are granted their next promotion. Oh, it's almost like they want me to attack Sweden. Lovely. I think that's Stockholm there, isn't it? E oh, no, that's not Stockholm at all. That's somewhere totally different. What about this tile? That's Stockholm. Okay, so Stockholm is definitely on the coast. At least one city is on the coast. Few. Now that we've got masonry, let's get pottery going. This is um so far, this is a good playthrough for me, but we're, we we haven't yet really been tested. This is good so far. This is good. I like this uh output. We're just you know the the naval units will come in handy in a little bit. Yes, I know that we've got you know. We haven't got many naval targets at the moment, but they will come. We are going to have naval targets because I seem to remember this, yeah, this whole sea is, is free. So I can pretty much just go and attack Amsterdam if I want or anyone that's got a, well, anybody on the coast, really. Look at that. Three food, two production, five gold. What a tile. And I'm going to actually bother to build a road. Look at this. Ah, oh, infrastructure. I never do any of this stuff. This is brilliant. Germany, they start very close to Denmark. I guess it is an adjacent country, but uh, there we go, Berlin. Not on the coast, and that's what we need to remember. Not on the coast. It's not that I'm judging people as to whether they are or aren't on the coast, but that is the only thing that matters to me. Mm, where are you going? Where's your settler going? And where is this archer going? Because uh, both, both of these things are of intriguing quality to me. Now, I'm just about to stick this shrine down which gives this city a lot of extra food. Food means that I get a lot of extra production tiles. So I'm hoping Yes Way can stick up a wall. Yeah, four turns of wall. That's, that's not too bad, actually. Oh, they've gone for me. They have actually gone for me. That, that is a, a surprise wall that is of no surprise. Um, the only problem is that they've got a lot of archer units, but the good thing about archer units is that they're not very powerful against cities so i just got to be a little bit careful um hopefully they'll settle in all of the nice spots for me which means i can then just sort of take their cities i've got writing on the way i just built an extra settler i just managed to pop in there which is a really really good one monumentality i can actually use my faith yes i might do that i might use my faith to purchase things like builders and settlers that's probably the best thing that i can do yeah i was going to get exodus of the evangelists but Unfortunately, they've attacked me a little too early on that one. Um, oh well, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Um, but it means I can just sort of buy settlers now with some faith. So that's a cool thing.